In this video, I will show you how to send simple emails using Spring Boot and SMTP. Then in the next video, I will show you how to send rich emails using HTML templates. So I will show you how to send emails like this one. You can find the video link in the description. So first we need to create a new Spring Boot project. So I already created this project that requires these dependencies. So we need Spring Web, Time Leaf, the validation dependency, so this is optional, and also we need Java Mail Center. So I already prepared this project and I created some files. So I created this controller, this DTO model, and this HTML file. Let's take a look at the controller. And here we can see that we have two endpoints. We have this endpoint that is accessible at the URL slash contact using the get method and it allows us to display the contact form. And we have this second endpoint that will handle the submitted data. So if we have any validation error, we will return the contact form with the validation errors. But if the data is valid, then we will display a success message, we will clear the form and we will return the form. Let's take a look at the DTO model. So here we can see that we need the username, the email address, the subject and the message. And here we have the contact form. So in this form we have one input field for the username, another input field for the email address, then we have an input field for the subject and we have this text area for the message. And this is the submit button. Now let's run the application. So now the application is available at this port number. Let's go to the browser. And here let's write localhost colon 8080 slash contact. And we obtain this contact form. So if we click on submit, we obtain the validation errors. So let's fill the form correctly. Then submit. And this time we have this success message. So if the form is submitted correctly, we need to send a confirmation email to the user. So let's go to the application. And let's create a new service. So let's create a new package. And let's call it services. Then let's create a new class. And let's call it email sender. So this class is a service, so we need to annotate it with the service annotation. Then we need to request a service from the application called Java Mail Center. So we can request it using AutoWired. Let's add the required packages, but here we can see that we don't have the import option. So let's stop the application and let's refresh the Maven data. So we can make a right click, then Maven, then a reload project. Now let's click on import. Let's import this as well. Then we need to configure this service to use an SMTP server. So let's go to application.properties and let's add additional properties. So we need to provide the SMTP server, the port number, the username and the password. And we can add these additional optional properties. So here we can see that they are commanded and I will not use them. So now we need to provide the values of these properties. So I will use the SMTP server of Brevo. So let's go to the browser. And here let's type brevo.com. Let's see the price. So here we can see that we can use Brevo for free to send up to 300 emails per day. So let's go to the dashboard, then transactional, then settings, then configuration, and let's click on get your SMTP key. So this is the SMTP server, this is the port number, this is the username, and this is the password. So let's copy them. So 
So these properties will be used by the Java mail sender that we requested from the application just here. But we can add additional properties that we can use to send the emails. So let's define additional properties. So we can define the sender email address. So we can send the email address using this email address. This is the name of the sender. And also we can define the address of the sender. Now let's read these properties in email sender. So we will read the sender email address, the sender name, and the sender address. Then let's create a new method that allows us to send emails. So we can create this method, send email, that requires the email address, the subject, and the message that we will send by email. We can create this variable of type simple mail message. We can set the receiver email address, the sender email address, the subject and the content of the email. Then we can send the message. And we can display this success message on the console. And if we have any exception, then we can display this error message on the console. Now let's use this method. So to use this method, we need to add this class as a service to the application, which is done using this annotation. So now let's go to the controller. And let's request the email sender from the application. Then we can use this service to send an email if the submitted form is valid. So here we can create the message that we will send by email to the user and we will write dear then the username. We will add this message and then we can call email sender dot send email. This is the receiver email address. This is the subject and this is the message that we will send by email. Let's test the application. Let's go to the browser and let's fill this form. So I will use my email address like this. I can receive the confirmation email. Let's submit the form. So we obtain this success message. Let's take a look at the console of the editor. And here we can see that the email is sent correctly. Let's take a look at my email account. And we obtain this email. So this is the subject. This is the sender email address that we defined in application.properties. And this is the username that is submitted using the form. In the next video, I will show you how to send rich emails using HTML templates. You can find the video link in the description.